Meantime, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp says the state's hospitals are using emergency capacity as they see more coronavirus cases. The state reported nearly 6,000 new infections Thursday, including 85 in southeast Georgia. So Kemp says that he isn't relaxing restrictions on who can get vaccinated, but he does plan to launch new vaccination sites. Looking ahead, we will be announcing further mass vaccination sites in the coming days to expand our vaccine administration efforts, given the increased supply of an additional 40,000 doses per week. And that is certainly good news. But again, our overall allocation remains unchanged. For now, demand will continue to far exceed the supply of the vaccine that we have. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Muller joins us live now. And Brittany, earlier this month, we know that the Coastal Health District, which serves, of course, southeast Georgia, announced that it is temporarily pausing appointment scheduling to get the vaccine. Any update to when it will get more, given what we heard from the governor? At this point, no. Good morning, Jen. The Coastal Health District says it paused those appointment bookings because it needs to make sure it has enough vaccines and enough staff to administer those vaccines and no telling when it'll reopen. But officials say hopefully it'll be soon. In the meantime, it's created this website, as you can see here, where you can sign up to be notified when more appointments do become available. Within a few days of Governor Brian Kemp expanding vaccinations no to first responders and anyone 65 and up in Georgia, the system was overwhelmed. Nancy Maloney and her husband were lucky enough to get the shot before appointments filled up. We were able to get both, both of us vaccinated, um, but I, my heart goes out. I'm sorry, my heart goes out to the people that can't get it. Maloney says she and her husband are expected to get the second shot on February 11th. I am concerned for us that the second dose won't be available when we're scheduled for it. The Coastal Health District says the health departments in all eight counties that it serves have enough requests to schedule appointments through February and in some cases into March. We've always known that public health itself does not have either the brick and mortar structure or uh, the personnel to vaccinate everyone in that category. And so, so what we've counted on is having other uh, health care providers enroll to be vaccine, you know, providers as well. Coastal Health District Health Director Dr. Lawton Davis said they had to stop making appointments and gave no indication when appointment scheduling will reopen. He did acknowledge people are frustrated because the process is moving more slowly than they would like. Between its two sites in Camden and one in Glynn, the Coastal Health District says public health has administered more than 3,200 doses. Over at the Southeast Georgia Health System, it's offering vaccines in Brunswick and Kingsland based on availability and by appointment only. Since January 11th, the health system says it's vaccinated about 5,200 people. An additional 750 doses will be administered today. President and CEO Michael Schernek says their goal is to provide no less than 2,500 vaccines per week as long as they receive supplies. Right now, when you go to book an appointment online, it says to check back for more times. Publix is also offering the vaccine. It's currently only vaccinating in Camden County, but the website shows it's also fully booked up. And to help with the vaccination rollout in Southeast Georgia, the Coastal Health District is asking for volunteers, doctors, nurses, pharmacists, as well as non-medical volunteers. You can register online. And as soon as more appointments become available, we posted the phone numbers, the links on where you could do so right now on newsforjax.com. Reporting live this morning, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The Local Station.